Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few of you very kindly recently asked how I have been waving up my new short blunt bob. So I thought I would share with you how I take my hair from this to this. So there are two ways that I like to get the wave in my hair. So I thought I will show you how I do one way on one side and one way on the other side so you guys can get involved and also leave a comment down below of which way you prefer the final kind of look. This morning I washed and blow dried my hair. I just dry it with my fingers and then I have run the straighteners through it slightly because I prefer to have like a soft, like straight base uh, before I start putting my waves in. I'm just going to be using two products today, so I didn't put anything in my hair when I dried it. When I straightened it, I used some heat protection. I have the Neil and Wolf Guard heat protection here, and it smells amazing. It's like really good salon quality. And then for a hairspray, which is what I'm going to be using for the finished look, I have this Techni Art hairspray. This is from L'Oreal Paris. Uh, both of these are actually PR samples, but I should leave them linked in the description as well. The first way I'm going to show you how to curl my hair will be on my right side, and I'm going to be using the Mark Hill um, curling wand. Oh, and you'll also need like a hair clip or a grip something to get your hair out of the way so I like to split mine into three sections so that's probably going to be the top section this is going to be the middle section and then this will be the bottom section we'll start with so I'm just gonna pop this grip that I've got into my hair there and keep that out of the way while we don't need it then this is where the hair protection spray comes in so each time that I do a layer of my hair I just quickly spray a little bit of heat protection on it before I run the curlers through and we're ready to start curling. Then going from front to back, I'm literally going to take sections of hair about this long and what I'm going to do is wrap that away from the hair around the wand and once I've done that I'm just going to leave it there for about five seconds so I will just run through the whole side of this hair. My eyes are going over there because that's just where my mirror is so please excuse that but literally you don't have to worry about you know perfecting anything or every piece of hair being the perfect size you just want to grab and go through each of the sections of your hair. Now I'm going to take down the next section of hair and literally do exactly the same thing. But this time I'm going to work back to front. So we can start to see the difference now. This is straight and then this is what all the curls with the curler are starting to look like. So I'm just going to do the same but with the final top layer. So now these curls are going to be left to cool off and then we'll mess around with them in a little bit. I'm going to show you the second way that I like to add waves into my hair. So for this I'm going to be using thin straighteners. Mine are the GHD Platinum, but obviously you can use whatever straighteners you want to. I will show you the manoeuvre uh, with the straighteners switched off, um, so you can hopefully get a little bit of a handle on it because it took me a while to perfect this technique. So I will be splitting my hair into three sections again as before, applying the heat spray every single time. And what I will do is I will grab sections of hair again about this wide, um, I don't actually know how wide that is, what we're talking, maybe an inch, an inch and a half, and then again I like to hold my straighteners that way. Weird personal preference, obviously you can do it this way, but I've just got hand of the motion better this way. So I will clamp the straighteners onto my hair, I normally like to just give it a little up and down like that to add a bit of texture, and then I'm going to wrap the hair going backwards again, and then I'm also going to twist my hand backwards probably about 50 to 75 percent of a full turn and then I'm going to pull the straighteners through the hair and as I do that I'm still also twisting it slightly when I get to the end I'll take the straightener out and then I'll normally curl the hair again back 
backwards around my finger and just drop and lead the curl. So that is what I'm going to be doing all the way through the side of my hair. I shall film it on a quick like little montage for you. But if you have any questions about that manoeuvre and movement, because it took me a while to pick it up, then let me know in the comments below. Also, I would suggest practicing that movement with the straightness switched off just so you can get used to it because you don't want to be doing that over and over on the same piece of hair uh, when they're on and it's hot. Just a few little tips there. So let's get this side of my hair also curled. Feel a little bit, little bit like the joker with this side and this side. By the way, I'm such a weirdo, I find myself with the camera on, talking to myself. So if you love a weirdo, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now that is also this side of my hair done. You can probably see like the difference, the way the curls kind of have ended up before we've kind of messed them out a little bit. And this side is obviously dropped as I've been doing that. So while this side is curling, what I'm gonna do is I will basically tussle my fingers up under my hair and jig them through the whole of this side. And then also just going to use my fingers to add a little bit of texture and also kind of to smooth any flyaways on the ends of my hair. I also sometimes like to give like a little bit of a, just a little jig at the root so you've got a little bit of bounce and body to your hair. Then this is where the hairspray comes into play. So I'm going to only really apply a light layer of hairspray um, because I don't like it looking kind of crispy and I like to move my hair as I'm spraying it um, like that. So I'm just going to move on to this side of the hair and do the same with my fingers. Normally I would let it cool a little bit longer. Normally I do my hair first and then my makeup and just kind of leave the curls in before I mess them up. But for the purpose of this video, I shall just do it now. So I'm going to just do the same again, get the fingers in there. So there we have the two ways that I like to curl and wave my hair. Which do you prefer? We have the curling tongs or we have the straighteners. Let me know in the comments below. What I will say is that I found that using straighteners, the curl, well it's more of a wave, the wave lasts longer throughout the day and it doesn't drop as much. You'd think it would be the way around. So as you can see from the curling tong, I know we did do this side first, but the curls drop a little bit more and this is kind of the finish look that you'll get all day whereas with my straighteners I find that they stay like this the whole time so personally I do prefer straighteners if you can get the hang of the motion but I would say use a curling tong if you do struggle with that but I'd love to know which of the ways you guys prefer so do let me know down in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it I know I do cover mainly um, fashion, but do let me know if there's any more beauty videos you would like to see from me. I will actually be covering my favourite nude lipsticks from in my collection as well, because that's been updated recently. And yeah, if you are new, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys very soon.